basketball coach Scott. Bowl eligibility, how's that sound? <laughs> but where we come from, man, that sounds really good to our ears. Um, you know, we, we talked about still having our goal, and tonight we defended our goal against a team that had had our number, you know, we're four and one. We, kind of, we knew it was going to be a tough ball game, four quarter ball game. That's why we practiced the way we practiced all week, uh, knowing it would come down to, you know, a kick, knowing it would come down to a possession, uh, a one possession, and just knew if our guys would play all the way through it, we'd have a chance. Entertaining ball game. We'll get to that in a minute. Put into perspective what the last couple weeks have been like around here. You know what? It's just been, you know, a, a, a little bit of adversity that you hope and you grasp every teachable moment you can through that. And you hope you can muster up enough fuel and get the guys to believe that that's part of, uh, you know, that's part of life. That's part of growing up. And as long as you know how to deal with it, it's, tem you know, life is 90 percent, you know, 10 percent of what happens. Oh, let me get it right. You know, <laughs> life is not 10% um, of what happened to you, 90% of how you react to it. So our kids are, are responding, and we got to continue to tighten that screw and continue to get them to respond each and every week. We still got three weeks to go. Helps, Four weeks. Uh, yeah, helps to, have, <laughs> helps to have Brad Kaya back, too, doesn't he? He does a lot for you. It does, and he's just going to get more comfortable and re-acclimate it, more comfortable, more comfortable, more comfortable. But he's a competitor, man. He's a competitor. He's a team leader, and the guys are going to always respond when they look at him in the huddle. That's what it's called. That's when you're a good quarterback. Let you go enjoy this win, Coach. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate it.